Another one bites the dust. Let's not funny. Murphy is always following me around. He can't be around you very often. He's with me. He's right behind me all the time. <laughs> ah. oh, that's all right. Well, got a bad compressor here. The good thing is, well, there's good news and bad news. This compressor's grounded. We're going to tape her off and make her safe so that anybody else comes here to take a peek at it, nobody gets hurt, and nobody can um, yeah, get hurt or nothing like that. And we're going to set this up so that it can run one stage. Luckily, this is not a tandem unit. These compressors are individually circuited, so you can run it on just one stage, and you know what mm -hmm. it works for the kitchen. So, it's all right. Look, I'm all for compressor changes. I love them, actually. But this is one of them times when I'm going to think about it for a split second. Well, maybe a minute. Stop making reciprocating compressors a couple of years ago. We were able to get these all the way through like last summer, but they are really just not around anymore. All compressors now are scroll. All the compressors are scroll. The scroll compressor will go in here. Now, 90 out of 100 people are going to say right off the bat, this is an obsolete compressor. York does not offer a replacement. Nobody offers a replacement. And this time, that would be true. On a smaller on a smaller residential unit, I have taken out reciprocating compressors and put in scrolls. It depends on the difference in efficiency and some other things, but uh, if it's close enough, I will put a scroll compressor in place of a reciprocating compressor. But a residential unit, it's a two to three thousand dollar job. This is not. Numbers are different all around the country. I'm not even giving my numbers. But it's just, it's not cheap. I don't know. Five or six grand by the time it's all back up and running. Oh, broke a rule. It's not a rule. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna come on this roof and even say that they would do the job. But this time, I don't think it's a good job to do. That seven ton scroll compressor is gonna be about this high. I can make that work, but I can't guarantee, I can guarantee three, five years out of it, but I can't guarantee 10. I think all compressor changes, if they're done properly, you're gonna get at least the 10 years you got out of the first unit. But on this one right here, I don't think so. Uh, I noticed a couple, uh, People been checking the videos out, and there's really only one or two channels on the whole internet that are making responsible HVAC. So you know who I'm talking to. What do you think? I think it's time to tell them that they do need to frame this off the roof and get another one. Unfortunately, that's seven weeks out. I got it. My guy will answer his phone on the weekend in York, and that's seven weeks. Seven weeks to get this unit here. I guess, you know, sometimes it is what it is. But we're going to run this at one stage, and luckily it's not for the, uh, the customer side of the business, it's for the employee side of the business, right? Because the customer comes first in my business, so I guess in their business, they should be glad that it's not the customer space. I don't know. But anyway, I just don't think we're going to do a compressor change here. And if I am, it's going to be a week from now. Because you can only change your plans so many times and then, hey, you're up. <laughs>